Hello everyone, this is Cynthia of Cynthia Plans. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber or watcher, thank you for being here. Uh, today is National Prosecco Day. So I'm starting out this plan with me, as you can see, a little bit differently than I normally do. Um, Prosecco is usually my drink of choice whenever I go out. My blog is literally called Prosecco and Planners. So to celebrate, um, I am going to be sipping on a glass of Prosecco while we do this plan with me together. Um, so I encourage you to go grab something, uh, whether it's a glass of wine, Prosecco, um, a cup of coffee, water, whatever it is that you choose, and sip along with me while we do this plan with me. Um, and with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started now. So we are planning the week of August 12th through the 18th. Um, this week I'll be using a kit from River and Ink. It's called Cocktails and Confetti. Um, I didn't have like a Prosecco or like bubbly themed kit on hand, so I felt like this was the best alternative to what I had. Yes, I was smart and already put the dates on the date covers. Um, so I went ahead and pulled this kit. I feel like it has like a Kate Spade kind of theme to it. And then also the um, gold sparkles do kind of remind me of bubbly, so I feel like it was a good choice. Um, so let's go ahead and put this kit down. I do have my Prosecco here and let me take a sip. And then with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, also, sorry for the really distracting band-aid. I did get a burn from my curling iron earlier this week and it looks pretty gruesome. So I don't want you to have to see that. And I think we'll all be better off for it. Okay, now to cover up the um, kaleidoscope as usual, I think I'm gonna do this. You can kind of see it behind the white, but oh well, whatever. Um, does she have any labeled header to know? Okay. We'll come back to that part. So I do have my list pad here of things. Monday is, or yesterday, when you watch this was the first day of school here uh, where I live in Florida for most counties and traffic is horrible like absolutely horrendous on the first day of school so I need to make sure that I remind myself to wake up on time extra early if possible to leave the house with some time for that and I don't think she has a little car on here, but I'm sure I have one somewhere. Let me grab my sticker album. So in addition to like my cutesy sticker albums, I also have these old school Target binders and they're ginormous um, and I just like keep a bunch of stuff in them. So let's see. I'm pretty sure I have some functional car kind of stickers. Well, apparently I don't. I only have gas stickers. Um, I'm sure I have a sampler with a car somewhere on it. So I'll stick that on there later. I don't really want to waste time on it, so let's move on. Um, Tuesday, today, um, when this video is published, it will be National Prosecco Day, so I'm going to put that down. And I'm gonna do a gold one for that. I also have that day off, so my family and I are gonna go to the movies. There's these really cute emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. that I'll use for this. We're gonna finally go and see Spider-Man. I know it's been like over a month since that movie came out, but it's really hard for us to get time to go to the movies. And I do have a call that night too with um, the other admins of Sunshine State Planners. So how do I wanna mark that? Oh, you know what, that may be big. I'll do this instead. Right, so that part is done. Put that over there. Wednesday, do I have anything? I do need to wash and dry my hair because I'm going to an event on Thursday. And with working out all through the week, it gets pretty gross, so I wanna make sure I do that. So I've got this munchkin from once more with love to mo note that actually lift this just a teeny bit time for another sip i 
Thursday, I have to work really early for um, a special event they're having at our job in the morning, and they needed extra staff, so I need to make a mental note to myself to be there early. Actually, I think I'm going to use this cute little watch sticker for that. Actually, I should move this down because I have to be at work at 7.15. And in the evening, I'm going to a special event. A friend of mine is um, talking about her blog and her financial journey. Um, so I want to put that on here. Ooh, I should put this on here. This is cute for this. Um, what else? Anything else on Thursday? No, I think that's it for Thursday. On... Friday night, my cousin's coming over to visit. The one that graduated, or not graduated, but got her white coat last weekend. So I can put this down here. So I'm just making this stand out a little bit more by adding a little bit of weight on one side of each letter. Um, I just think it adds something cute. So if you ever want to do that, I think that's a good good way to differentiate um, between your text. Um, Saturday, my sister is having a little like get together at her house. Um, it's like a little shopping party, so I need to mark that here. And that's down. Um, do we have anything on Sunday? No, I don't think we do. So I think that's the big hits that are down already. Um, so what I need to do now is go ahead and put some like full boxes and stuff in here. I don't know what you guys think, but I am actually really happy with how this spread is turning out so far. I think it's really cute um, and I really like the colors of it. I'm really not a green person normally, but I do find this to be really, really cute. So I just took this icon sticker and laid it over this full box to just make it a little extra special. Um, since Sunday is the day that I normally plan, I can go ahead and stick this here too. I'm trying to think of a cute place to put these, but let me hold off on that because I don't really know where I want to put them yet. Ooh, these are really cute. I need to find a place for that. Anyhow, getting ahead of myself. Uh, I do need to put some washing in here. And I think I'm gonna do this black. Even though it's gonna be really bold, I think I'm gonna go for it. So this washi cutter is brought to you by Chrissy and Designs, who, in my opinion, even though I was using the Erin Condren in one of my last videos, the little bookmark, I do feel like the CAD, um, I think this is a washi holder slash cutter. I feel like hers is the best. It's metal, so there is no like slipping or um, anything like that. It's just super duper um, on point. I also do have this little Fiskars knife, which is good for little things like this thing I'm going to try and cut right here. But it's pretty sharp, so you do want to be careful with it. Okay, so the black washi is in. And no, no confetti dot. That's going to be too, too much. on the bottom. I think I just might mirror it on the bottom actually. Normally I do two varieties but I think this week I just really like how this black is working out. So let's see how this is looking. Move this glass of Prosecco out of the way. 
so this is how this week is looking. I'm gonna need to grab some sort of um, checklist to remind myself of the things I'm gonna have to do. Um, one of which is making a dessert for this party that my sister invited me to on Saturday. So I'm gonna need to write that kind of stuff in, but I want a checklist for that. So I'll have to grab from my stash somewhere. Um, also on Sunday, I'll probably have all sorts of chores and like um, virtual assistant work to catch up on and everything like that. So um, I think this is going to be it actually. No, it's not. I didn't want to use up all of these right away. But now that I've gotten most everything down, I'll put this here and I keep like a running to-do list over here. Nothing from here. I like these stickers and I do think I might end up using some of them later on, but for right now, this is all I feel comfortable putting down um, because these are the things that I know and I kind of want to leave things open for potential changes or anything like that or additions. Um, let me make sure I get another sip in here. So that's going to be it. This was a short one and I hope all of my videos are this short going forward. Um, but I hope it was fun for you. I did make a pretty significant dent in this Prosecco here. It's hard to tell, um, but I hope you enjoyed your coffee or your wine or whatever it is that you chose to drink water, anything like that while we were doing this. Um, I might end up doing it again, I'm not sure, but um, this was fun. So happy National Prosecco Day. If you've never checked out my blog, my blog is www.proseccoandplanners.com. I always have a link in the description, so you're welcome to check it out. Um, for National Prosecco Day, I do have a blog post up and you can go check it out. It just highlights different ways that you can enjoy Prosecco um, if you've never tried it before. And um, that's going to be it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any feedback on it, good or bad, hopefully good, drop it on the comments, drop it in the comments for me. And if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to help support my content. The more subscribers I get, the more people can see my content and my channel can grow. And I appreciate every single one of you that up to this point has actually subscribed. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you back next week for yet another plan with me. Have a lovely week and happy National Prosecco Day. Mm -hmm.